Viewer discretion is advised. In the same fields where convicts once toiled like slaves stands a notorious maximum security prison. We weren't allowed in, but have been learning its secrets. Inmates have been snatching footage of chaotic conditions on contraband cell phones. Staff nowhere to be seen during this fight are poorly paid and too few. Some may not sympathize with men who have broken the law, but with budgets slashed, Mississippi has one of the deadliest prison systems in America. This is for all the drinking water that I just got here at the faucet, and this is what it looks like. This is what we're going through. Rains flood into the dilapidated buildings. This is a snake in the halls. Inmates say rats and cockroaches crawl on them at night. Look at that. Mold all under my pillow. Mold is everywhere. But it's the food the inmates hate most. Desmond spent 14 years in the worst part of the prison, Unit 29. They call it the hole. He worked in the kitchen. The kitchen was full of uh, insects, maggots. It was once discovered that it was a rat baked into the cornbread. Me and several other inmates, we did throw it out. We did get in trouble for it. You got in trouble for not feeding prisoners cornbread with an entire rat in it. Yes. <laughs> they said that was a waste of cornbread. The prison authorities say the food is nutritional and edible. They argue prisoners are not entitled to appetizing food and say though they fumigate, creatures are a fact of life. Javon says he lost 30 pounds in three weeks in parchment. Javon's toes also began to rot from the mold. Really, I'm just glad I made it out. Like, considering all the stuff that was going on, I seen people die right in front of me. Javon was one of America's 2.2 million prisoners. No other country on earth incarcerates as many people. Mississippi's prisons, like most, are disproportionately black. To Javon, the neglect is a race issue. We're not going to make it make it known that it's a racial thing, but we, everybody knows that's what it is. In January, Parchman descended into darkness amidst gang violence. We ain't got no power! We ain't got no war! Prisoners lit fires, they say, to get help. In the dark lay a 42-year-old diabetic man called A.D. Mills. We got a brother down this... You know what I'm saying? He ain't having insulin shot. He's sick. That's my son. That is my son. Someone's calling for help for my son. Because he needed his medication. He was very badly dehydrated. Did he get the help he needed? No, he died. He died. Sandra believes her son hadn't had his medicine for weeks. We've heard multiple accounts of medical neglect here. The prison authorities would not comment on A.D.'s death. They told the BBC they're aggressively working to improve conditions and say they've made drastic progress. Two seconds, I'm almost there. <clears throat> okay. I've been waiting for your call, so I'm very glad to hear from you. Hold on a second. But a 67-year-old inmate, Theophis Brown, sick with prostate cancer, was permitted a call from Unit 29. Listen, the, the prison says conditions are much better now, are they? No, it's not no better, it's the same place. Mr. Brown, who's just had cancer surgery, said his cell is filthy. He has no proper soap, no fan, no sheet. I just came from the hospital. You know, I had a surgery. I'm sleeping on a mattress. They ain't got no sheets on. The condition here is terrible. You know what I'm saying? Do you worry about your life? Yes, every day. George Floyd's death. Jacob Blake and Daniel Prude's shootings have opened the world's eyes to police brutality here that's visible on the streets. But the Trump administration's taken steps to obscure the full number of deaths behind bars nationwide. Existing data suggests it's an even bigger crisis by far. So we know that nationally about, about 5,000 people a year die in our prisons and jails. 
And we also know that maybe half of those are either suicides or drug overdoses. So that leaves about 2,500 people who are dying from other things. That's two or three times higher than the number of people who die at the hands of police. A whole cell block praying. You did day, I day to bread. In Parchment alone, at least 29 inmates have died this year already. Brutality, sickness and death plagued convict laborers here over a hundred years ago. In all this time, you might well ask, how much has changed? Hillary Anderson, BBC News.